Easy Points is one of Merg's best selling kits, but it's also very useful for animations. There is, however, one potential issue which is known as Servo Kick. This is what we shall be looking at. Easy Points provides an excellent means of controlling different types of animation. For example, cranes for which we can control both the jib and the cab. Similarly, an excavator where we can control both jib and cab. The hoist is another perfect example of how we can use easy points to control it. Three different animations, but they all share the same requirement. They all need to have accurately controlled positioning and movement. All three of these examples have been previously discussed in presentations which are on our website. There can be a problem on power-up for this type of animation. The problem is as a result of a phenomena known as servo kick. A servo kick is caused due to the servo motor having an unknown state on power up. This results in a movement of the servo horn until a voltage on the signal pin stabilizes the servo. This significant and sometimes rapid movement can damage delicate animations. Let's see this phenomenon in action. Here we have a standard easy points kit connected to a servo motor. Watch what happens to the servo horn when the power is applied. You will have seen an unwanted pick of the servo horn on power up. If this had been attached to the jib of a crane, the results would have been quite disastrous. So how do we stop servo kick? We need to switch the servo power on after the circuit is settled. In the case of the crane example, this is approximately four seconds. Here we have the schematic from the Easy Points instruction information. You'll notice that there are two 5 volt regulators a low current regulator, the 78L05, supplies 5 volts to the pick, whereas a high current regulator, the 7805, supplies power to the servo. The problem we have is that both regulators are fed from the same 12 volt supply and therefore 5 volts will be applied simultaneously to the servo and the pick. As it can take several seconds for the entire circuit to stabilize, this results in the servo being in an indeterminate state on startup, hence the kick. This is one possible solution, a manual mechanical switch. If we break the power track as shown and insert a mechanical switch, we can then power up the servo whenever we wish. This works perfectly well. It was the original system that I employed on the aforementioned three animations. However, there are drawbacks. It requires an additional switch and the associated wiring. It also requires the second switch to be thrown manually. And in the case of the crane, if the second switch is thrown too early, before the circuit stabilizes, the servo will kick and 
there is an opportunity for the crane to become damaged. Therefore, this is a working solution, but it's neither desirable nor elegant. Davy suggested an alternative method. This was to control the power on of the servo via a PIC module. As you can see, the regulator supplying the PIC and its associated components have been removed. There is now a direct connection between the servo power pin and the PIC module. In addition, we will also use the PIC module to trigger the circuit. This is a schematic of the PIC module. On the left-hand side, you'll see the, the PIC, the common 12F675. It has its own separate power supply, the 78L05. Two of the outputs are dedicated to two separate easy points kits, one for the crane jib, the other for the crane body. As we're using a PIC, I've also taken the opportunity to control a DF player. Therefore, it's possible to synchronize actual sound with the movement of the crane. The PIC cannot control a servo directly, as a servo is a relatively high current device. We're therefore using a TIP127 power transistor in the form of a switch. The transistor again has a separate power supply, this time the higher current 7805 regulator. The operation is quite simple. When the PIC sends out a low or zero volt signal from pin five, this turns on the transistor, which in turn supplies the server with five volts. By means of this arrangement, we have full control of the initialization of the easy points with respect to powering up the servo, and therefore we can eliminate servo kick. Here we have the various boards under test. We have the two modified easy points one for the crane jib, one for the crane cab. We have the custom pick module. We have the DF player and we have the speaker. Here is the crane, now let's see it in action. Perfectly smooth operation, one switch only required, and with the added bonus of synchronized sound. Here we have the second of the animations, the mechanical excavator, using exactly the same circuitry as in the crane. 
Let's see it in action. And finally, let's take a look at the hoist. Thanks to removing servo kick, all three animations now operate perfectly using one switch. There is a caveat in that this technique will only work for animations that return to their starting positions before the power is switched off. For animations where the start point is indeterminate, the position of the servo prior to power off must be saved to pick memory. And this is a subject of a future presentation. <laughs>